Hello and welcome to Video Studio Corner. I am XD back here again with another informative and great video. Now today we're going to be doing a video on how to add those nice dub vocal samples that you hear in a lot of deep house tracks. Now I've been using this trick in a lot of my own previous tracks, like in the track Vibranium, this is exactly how I did it. And I'll show you how I got that vocal that I got from Black Panther. A lot of people have been asking me, dude, how did you grab those vocals and how did you import into FL Studio, into your project? So I'm gonna show you how you can do this. You're gonna need two things, VLC, number one, VLC is free to download on the VLC website. And secondly, you're gonna need a file converter. We're gonna grab a video clip and then we're gonna convert it into audio and then import into FL Studio. Now, let me know down in the comments how you would do this, but this is the way that I do it, that I find that is very easy for me to do it. And this helps if you're a person that does not have a lot of vocalists, you know, uh, uh, close by, where you can just call up a vocalist to add vocals for you. Now, you can do this to add like a lot more sauce into your track and to make it really nice. So if you're a movie watcher, this is an advantage because you know exactly where to cut and you have a variety more of movies and stuff, even um, other programs or other videos that you can, you know, you can sample. But bear in mind that using these clips sometimes will have some copyright issues. That's why in this video, I'm going to only be using my video. I'm not going to use a movie uh, audio or movie video. So just be aware of that when you're now publishing your songs that you might run into some copyright issues. So now, before we get into this, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's get into FL Studio and let me show you what I mean. So I have a track I've made here called Level Deep. Let me just play a bit of the track for you. So, I know it's great, right? So, um, what I want to do is, on this break here, on this um, break that I have over here, I want to add um, like like a vocal there, like, you know, a sound or just something, just to spice it up so that it's not so empty because I know most of these uh, places where the, the, the song dips, it's kind of really empty. So, adding kind of a vocal to it will just give it a bit more flavor and a bit more sauce into it. And I enjoy using the word sauce. I'm going to start by playing a video on VLC. I'm going to grab a clip of video and then convert it to audio and then import it into FL Studio. And then I'm going to show you what you can do to it to process it and make it sound very nice. Okay, here we go. So I have in VLC here, uh, my video on uh, my review on Vibranium. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a spot where I'm just talking. And then, you know, there's no music playing. It's just my voice only. And then I'm just going to trim that part and record it. So I'm just going to turn the screen and make it smaller so that you can see all of it. Here we go. So what you need to do first before you go anywhere is look out for, like if you go on view up here, you will see advanced controls. Make sure that this is checked because this will show you these controls down here where you can get the record button and the snapshot button as well. And um, I think that's a loop and frame by frame. So you need to have this advanced um, controls on so that you can get this um, button. So, so let's here. see what we can get. And then I just um, kind of very distant, like it's not close, like it's all the effect. Now, kind of more volume, turned it down so that it's not so much. A section. Interesting. Or even just basically, like kind of a little roll. Really hard. I just wanted mastering if I go to my, and then you can start mixing the track out. But they're very, very powerful on the low end side and kind of, I didn't want to have arrangement the way I approach. I'll just grab from here. So my arrangement, the way I've approached it is kind of, I didn't want to have this track have a break. I wanted to make it more of a, a progressive kind of just let it record track where it just builds up, you know, gets to the climax and then, you know, uh, dies down 
it's kind of a club track. It's not a track where it's kind of trying to be surreal and trying to be more atmospheric. That's why my sounds are minimal, but they're very, very powerful on the low end side and they're very punchy. So you can okay. see that's enough. So now I can stop this. And then what this will do is that it will send this file will go to the videos folder. Posted. Now here it is kind of, I didn't want to max. And then, so then I'm going to take this file and I'm going to throw it in my con file converter and I'm going to convert it to wave start then boom. It's quickly done. If I refresh, you will see the file is right next to um, the video file that I had made over here. And I'll put this out the way. Then I'll go back into my FL Studio and then I'll just go to um, my channel rack and then I'll just say audio clip. Then I open audio clip, open this file here, and then it's going to open this section over here where it says videos. Then what I'll do is I'll just add my file I think posted okay, is, there it is kind of then I'm gonna import so there we go it's already imported so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my arrangement that's over here and then I'm just gonna throw in the file posted right is the kind of posted. so now we need to trim and make sure that we have exactly the place we want I'm just gonna send it to a track then make it I didn't want to have this track have a break. I wanted to make it more of a, a progressive kind of post. It is kind of. I did. Let me solo. Post it is kind of. I didn't want to have this track have a. Now then I can just add some effects on it, like an EQ. I'll just filter it a bit. Filter post it, out. it is kind of. I didn't want to have this track have a break. I wanted to make it more of a, a prog. Then I could even put a phaser on it. Post it is kind of. I didn't want to have this track have a break. I want. Then I could add a reverb. You can do this uh, reverb as a send, or you can do it uh, straight onto it. And then I can add even a delay, like a delay three. Where is my delay? There we go. Post it. Post it. Post it is kind of. I didn't want to have this track have a break. I wanted to make it more of a. Progressive kind of club. Kind of. I didn't want to have this track have a break. I wanted to make it more of a progressive kind of club track where it just builds up, you know, gets to the climax and then you know, uh, dies down. It's kind of sounds pretty track. good. It's not a track where it's kind of trying to be so real and trying to be more Kind of. So that's it. That's basically how you can get yourself a piece of this dub vocal where you can just, you know, dub it from any video you get, no matter who it is. But as I said, be careful when you're publishing the song. You need to have rights. Some some of these laws are very strict in terms of reusing certain material that is used by other people. That's why I'm, I don't usually push people to do sampling because at the end of the day, if you're going to want to sell that music, you're going to run into some copyright issues. But this is how you can do it and how you can easily grab some vocals, even your own vocals out of your own video. Even if you take a video off your phone and you want to you know, put it into your song and it's got some audio that you like. So you can use this method to grab audio. So I hope you find this very helpful. That's how I do it. I want to know in the comments how you grab sounds and how you dub vocals out of a video and throw them into your tracks and also how you process them. So that's it for this video and I hope you like this tip. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you like this tip I have for you today. I am X and I'm out. I'll see you in another video. Peace.